Hey, what's going on? If you want to get a complete system that makes melting fat easy and is 100% automated, then I want you to go to the link that's on the bottom of your page right now. Um, YouTube doesn't let me make that link clickable, so you're gonna actually gonna have to type it into your browser. Or I also put a the copy of the link in the description, so you can click on that or type it into your browser. All right. For now, enjoy the video, and after you're done with this video, make sure to go to that link to get a complete fat melting system. So right now. We're going to break down uh, our striking stance and then followed up with a couple cool punches, uh, the two most basic but the most effective punches, which is our jab and our cross. And I'm going to break it down. Uh, let's get into our stance. Stance is your most important thing. Uh, one, if you don't have a good stance, you're not going to be as fast, as strong. Uh, if you're off balance, you can't punch as hard, you can't move as fast, and uh, you're, you're really uh, going get, to get hurt or get hit if, you're, uh, if you don't have a good stance. So stance is the, is the base of everything. You know, all these advanced punches and these cool strikes and all that stuff, if you have no stance, you can't really, you can't really throw those punches and uh, you can't do them effectively. Have you ever seen good fighters uh, like Anderson Silva? I mean, it's like he does magic tricks, like he'll move and hit you, but he always has a good stance. That's why he can like move into different angles and hit people out of all these crazy angles, but he's always ready to strike. So we want to make sure we're like that. And uh, I'm going to break down our stance and some of the crucial details we got to make sure we have a, a, we pay attention to. So if you're right-handed, uh, you're going to you, step with your right leg back, and if you're left-handed, you're going to step with your left leg back. All right? I'm right-handed, so I'm going to stand orthodox. The other position is called southpaw but I'm an orthodox fighter. So the first thing you want to do is get your feet about shoulder width apart, stand like you're waiting at the bus stop. This is the best like, analogy you've ever heard. Just that, wait for the bus stop. You're going to take your right leg, you're going to step it back, twist your feet 45 degrees, bring your hands up, make a fist. When you make a fist, fingers curl, thumb goes over top. Okay, Fingers curl, thumb goes over top. When we're hitting, uh, we want to always try to strike with these two big knuckles right here. All right, these two big knuckles. Uh, we don't want to hit with these littler knuckles. They break a lot easier. So when we're, when we're punching, we always want to cut. We want to twist. So uh, we hit with those two big knuckles. Now, last thing with our stance is I'm at 45 degrees. Feet are shoulder width apart. I don't want my feet too close and then I'm going to get tipped over or too far. And my back heel is off the ground. Okay, Back heel is very important to be off the ground. There's only a couple cases where your back heel should be on the ground. Other than that, your back heel is always off the ground. Uh, we'll break down those, those, those scenarios later where a back heel hits the ground, but your back heel is always off the ground because to move, if I want to move forward and my back heel is down, I need to pick my back heel up and then go forward. Same thing with backwards. If I want to move backwards, my back heel is down, I need to pick it up and then move backwards. And it's a waste of time. So we want to be as quick as possible. So my back heel is off the ground so I can fire and move. All right? So back heel off the ground, bus stop stance, step back. 45 degrees, back heel off the ground, make our fist, and all we're gonna do is just throw them up to the chin, cheekbone, and I'm here, okay? This is my stance. Elbows are down to protect my body, hands are up to protect my head, chin is down, okay? Not crazy down, just relaxed down, heads up, shoulders relaxed. This is my most comfortable stance. Your, your striking stance should be your most comfortable position. This should not be your most comfortable position. This right here, I can sit here all day. Back heel off the ground, I got space in between my legs, I'm not crossed over so I don't fall over, cool? So here, this is our basic stance. Now let's go over moving, because again, that's the most important thing, moving our stance. So moving, if I want to move forward, it's very simple moving. If we want to move forward, backwards, left or right, we just step with that foot first. So if I want to move forward, I step with the forward foot first. If I want to move backwards, backward foot first. Left, left, right, right. It's very simple. So again, we move forward, forward foot steps. And then I follow up with the back foot. Backwards, backward foot steps, left, right. All right, if we, if we move, and if I'm moving left and I bring my right foot in and then left foot for this split second right here, now I'm off balance, I feel it together, I can't throw all my strikes properly, all right? So you always want to be in your stance. So I move up, boom, and we take little steps. I take a big step, now I'm wide, right? Like a crab, blah, 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 just like a crab. So we got that down. Again, if I move, if I move two times, if I move left a lot, just left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. So that's our stance. We can pivot pivot, and we'll go into more detail later, but this is the most basic thing, just bus stop, step back, 45, hands up, back heel always off the ground, we're moving, this is my, this is my stance right here, <laughs> so uh, it's very important that you practice your stance, again, uh, we have to have a base, same thing when you make a car, 
you know, the, 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 the body around it is just you know, for looks, but the actual frame is, is what's, uh, you know, holding the whole car together and what makes it perform. So this is your frame, the stance. That's your whole frame for, for your striking, your self-defense, if you want to do competition, whatever wherever it is, you want to make sure uh, you stay in the stance, you get a good stance down. And again, the most important detail, the, the biggest mistake I see with the stance is your heel. Everyone stands with that back heel on, on the ground, and people that do even keep it on off the ground, They'll step and they'll land it on the ground. That's a waste of time. We want to like minimize the, our waste and keep it like optimal performance. So whenever I'm ready, to, whenever I'm seeing an opportunity to strike, I can fire that strike. Okay. So uh, next, let's get into our, our, our first punch. We punch it pretty much. Everyone starts off learning. Floyd Mayweather started off learning this punch. Everyone starts off learning learning it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna demonstrate and I'm gonna break it down. So it's our jab. Jab is uh, our longest range weapon, our, our fastest, normally our fastest weapon. Uh, it's, a, it's a range finder, it keep, keeps the distance. Um, it's normally not a damaging punch, but you can still knock somebody out with a jab. Uh, one of our fighters here, actually his first pro professional fight, he knocked out the guy in eight seconds with just a jab. So it's still a very dangerous punch, but we use it a lot of times to keep the range and set up our big po power punches like our crosses and our hooks and stuff. So let's break down the jab. Jab here, when we jab, all our power with all the strikes come from your legs. Okay? Legs are everything, all your power comes. Doesn't matter how big you are up top, it's your legs, and how you then next it's your legs, then it's your core, then it's your shoulder, then it's your arms. So triceps, they have very little effect on, on uh, making you strike, all right? So that's the last little detail. So it's our legs. So that meaning we want to use, we want to incorporate these legs whenever we strike, it's our biggest muscle. So when I do this jab, it's not just here. I want to use my legs, and the way we do this is I'm gonna, we're gonna start off with the basics first. And uh, I'm gonna teach you one style of jabbing, and then later on we're gonna learn different styles. Okay, there's a bunch of different styles for every punch, but this is a style I like to t teach my students first. I see uh, the, the the best results from this. So when we do this jab, what I want you to do is pretend like you try to scare someone. You try to scare someone, you, you stomp that front foot. We're not really stepping, we're just stomping it, and that's what's getting our momentum going. Bah! So I'm trying to scare someone. At the same time, I'm trying to scare someone. I'm firing this jab straight out, twisting the hip, the two big knuckles, and then bringing it straight back in. So I'm gonna scare them. Bah! I'm bah, and I'm popping through my shoulder, whoom, I'm twisting, all right? Right hand stays up, jab. Again, back heels off the ground, jab, jab. And it goes straight out, straight back. It's very important. Okay, so let's go over a couple of the details, a lot of little mistakes that people miss. One, when we throw this jab, you have to keep your right hand up. When, you, when you're punching somebody, odds are that they're gonna wanna punch you back, and we don't wanna get hit. So when you throw this jab, I wanna make sure I don't do something like this. I want to keep it touching my cheekbone. When you're just starting off, you want to try to always make sure your hands are touching your cheekbone. Cheekbone. Because as long as you can feel them there, you're good. You, you know that they're there. But if you're always here, sometimes they're going to slowly work their way down and we're building bad uh, habits. And when you're first starting off, it's very important to keep those good habits going uh, so we never learn bad ones and we, we only know our good ones. So hand up. We don't want to come here. We want jab. Okay? The other important detail is when we throw this jab, again, we're firing off at our feet. The other important one is when we throw it, we sometimes get out there really good, hit our target, boom, and we bring it back like so. We want to get out there as fast as possible and get in even faster because we don't want to get hit. You know, more importantly than, than knocking somebody out is not getting knocked out. Because if I get knocked out, then I'm in a world of, of trouble, especially if, you know, self-defense, they knocked out, I don't know what's going to happen. So my hands are up. I'm going to lunge out there, do my scare, my scare technique. I'm going to fire straight out, straight back, right? No curling technique. Hand stays up, chin stays down, fire, boom. Jab, 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 okay? The other little, little details, whenever we're striking, we always want to exhale, right? You think, you know, it's for show when you see the, those boxers and professional athletes when they go, we always want to, okay? So that's the jab. Last technique. Uh, to, to sum up this whole this whole this learning experience, you got your you got your stance down. We got that first jab. We can keep our distance. We can punch grab punch person, break their nose. All right. Next one, we're gonna learn some our power punches. Our cross. All right. It's your dominant hand. In my case, I stand orthodox. It's my right hand. All right. This is our money maker right here. Our cross. So the way we do the cross is I'm gonna demonstrate it first. I'm gonna break it down. All right, with the cross, we want to utilize, just like in all our, all our strikes, we want to use our, utilize our legs. But this one's cocked back here all the way. So it gives us more runway to get the, that, that power going. 
And on top of that, that's my hip that's, far, that's backwards, the right side. So now I can twist that hip, get all my, my body into it using my legs, my core, my upper body, everything. And that's why people like, you know, that's why you, you, uh, kickboxing and boxing, really good workouts. It works your full body and at the same time, you know, you're learning good technique uh, to defend yourself or to compete or, or just, you know, uh, make a unique workout. So with this cross, we are hands up, like always, back heel off the ground, nice stance, okay? My body's profile, I'm not square, right? Hands are up, elbows down with the cross. The first step I want you to do just to learn this is to twist your back foot. All we're gonna do is, my, my foot's point, pointing 45 degrees, I wanna point straight, so here. All I do is twist my back foot, and when you twist your back foot, your shoulder rotates, and that's your power. Again, twist, back, twist, back. And when you see my back foot, my back heel's off the ground, I'm twisting, staying on the ball of my foot. Again, good. And all we're gonna do now is as we twist, we're gonna fire off our right hand, straight out, twisting those two big knuckles, straight back. Very simple. So I'm twisting, shooting that hand off there. Twisting, shooting that hand off there. And the same common mistakes are with this cross. Is one, you wanna make sure that it goes straight out, straight back, gets back faster than it went out. And uh, two, you always wanna keep that back heel on the ground. Okay, and hands always stay up. So I'm not doing this kind of thing, or I'm not doing this kind of thing. Hands here, and my jab, cross. Step, twist, step, twist. Get a little step, twist. That's our jab, cross. So those two techniques are the base for all striking techniques. They're extremely important. With these two techniques alone, you can knock out uh, anybody in the world, all right? Doesn't matter who they are. If you land these two techniques, you're hitting those two big knuckles, and you hit them on the chin, uh, you'll knock them out. And in the next video, I'm going to go over, you know, more the unique and important spots to hit somebody. Uh, but right now, let's get into uh, little workouts and drills that I'm going to show you that are going to help you uh, uh, get better at this technique. Now, a good drill for this, for these techniques, for your stance and your jab cross, uh, to build up that myelin, uh, so you know you, this is this is instinctual and not you have to, so you don't have to think about it, and you just show up and you got your jab cross and your stance, and it's automatically perfect. So that's where just like just like how we're trying to build the myelin for you, for you to uh, eat properly and stay in shape, this is one of the things that we're we're trying to build myelin in is, is our is our striking. All right, so the good a good basic workout that I like and the drill that the first drill I want you to do is just five minutes. I want you to put five minutes on the clock. This is your minimum workout. Uh, I mean minimum drilling for this for this. Uh, for this technique is five minutes on the clock and all you're gonna do is practice on your stance you're gonna move and then every 10 seconds you're gonna throw a jab and a cross okay it can be slow it can be fast I want you to focus on perfect technique and building proper myelin uh, so because practice does not make perfect you can practice a thousand hours a day and you're not gonna have a good jab and not gonna have a good cross it doesn't necessarily mean you have a good jab and a good cross what, what makes perfect is perfect practice makes perfect all right if I'm always practicing like this a jab cross I mean, it doesn't matter how long I practice that for, I'm always going to have that jab cross. So if I'm practicing here, jab cross, jab cross, that's going to lead to perfection, all right? So if you can only go this speed right now, that's better than doing this right now. You understand? So I want perfect practice. And uh, every single time, you know, as you get better at throwing, you know, slower, we pick up the pace. Bah, bah. But we're f focusing on perfect. I'm focusing on my stance, elbows in, hands up. The chin down, I'm stepping with every punch, I'm twisting, all right? My hands are coming straight back to my face as quick as they came out. So that's what we gotta do. So five minutes on the clock, every 10 seconds, you're gonna throw a jab cross. So it's gonna look like this, you're in the stance. Now, key detail when we, do, when we practice the stance, my heel never touches the ground, I never cross my feet. If I move forward, I step forward, for, forward foot first, backwards, back foot first, left, right, all right? So hands are up, it's gonna look something like this. I'm in my stance, I'm moving, jab cross. Moving, never cross my feet, jab cross. Moving, jab, cross, moving, jab, cross, jab, cross. And if you're getting to get a little more comfortable with it, you can stay in one spot, jab, cross, I go backwards. Jab, cross, I go left. Jab, cross, I go right. So it's very simple, you don't have, you don't have to make it that intricate, but just five minutes on the clock, you're doing jab, cross, you're gonna move, jab, cross. Move, jab, cross, move, move, jab, cross. Just for 10, every 10 seconds of the five minutes, you're gonna give me a jab, cross. And if you want to do more, no problem, do more. But five minutes minimum just to start building that myelin for your stance and for your jab cross and perfect practice, key details, back heel off the ground, feet shoulder width apart. We won't want, never want to cross our legs, hands up, chin down, hands always stay up as we're punching, go straight out, straight back. Now to strengthen this jab cross and to strengthen your stance, 
I, I like to use uh, workouts to do this, and workouts that are functional, functional workouts. So uh, they're designed specifically, right now we're focusing on our jab, cross, and our stance. This workout is designed specifically to strengthen that, that stance, to strengthen that jab, cross, make it faster and stronger, and at the same time get you ripped up and, and in shape. Uh, and at the same time, you're building that myelin for that jab, build that jab, myelin for that cross, and for your stance. So there's no better way to work out. <laughs> we're, we're doing so many, we have so many benefits and no negatives. So this is the workout. You're doing 50 and 50, all right? I have a weight, this is a, a two pound weight. You can do whatever you'd like. Again, uh, it's just whatever, whatever your fitness level and comfort level is right now, you can always up the pace. I just grabbed a two. Uh, right now, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna demonstrate the workout, and then you're gonna do it. So squat stance, back straight, butt down, head up, hands up. Always stay next to my chin, so I'm building that mile and keep my hands up. Squat in my stance, cross. Back in my stance, squat in my stance, cross. Back in my stance, squat in my stance, cross. Okay. When I throw my cross, everything's perfect. Back heels off the ground. I'm rotating straight out, straight back. My hand stays up. This hand stays up, and I get back into my squat stance. So all we're doing is building up the the the, the myelin for to get in a proper stance. So I'm squatting, strengthening my legs because again, all our power for our strikes and all the power for pretty much everything involving kickboxing, striking, and Muay Thai comes from your legs. So hands up always, building that myelin. Squat all the way down, back straight, butt up, head butt down, head up on the weight in the heels. I come up and when I come up, I want to do a little hop into my stance. Boom, get my stance down. Okay. Nice shoulder width apart, back heel off, staggered stance, feet point 45 degrees, body profile, hands up. Right here, I'm gonna get a power punch, okay? Power cross, Wah. Then a little hop, back in my stance, back in the squat stance, squat. Okay, we're doing it 50 times with the cross and 50 times with the jab. Jab, same thing, hands up, squat, little hop in my stance, jab. Squat, jab, squat, jab. This is really going to build up that shoulder, your deltoids, going to tone them up. Same time, we're strengthening that cross, getting the speed and the power down for that cross. And we're working our legs, going to tone up our legs really nice and make us so we're faster and stronger at doing the jab cross. And our stance is going to be a lot better. So it's a really good workout. I like to do them, uh, you can do it with two pounds, three pounds, four pounds, five pounds, whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, I also like to do it with, in both hands, hold, the, hold the, uh, the, the weights, even when I'm just doing the cross. Um, so, so it strengthens those deltoids a little more, our shoulders. But 50 with our, our cross, 50 with our jab. Again, perfect practice leads to perfection. Not practice leads to perfect. We have perfect practice for perfect for, for, for perfection, all right? <laughs> as a, as, a, as a, a tongue twister. All right, so I'll see you for the next video. Really practice this. You got your stance, most important thing, and jab cross, the two most basic, most effective punches you could do. Hey, what's going on? If you're enjoying the video so far, do me a huge favor and click on the like button below. Uh, you'll get your good deed for the day out of the way. Uh, it helps me out a lot. Also, go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment. Something as simple as good video or I enjoyed the video. Uh, it really helps me out with YouTube. All right, here's the rest of the video. Stays up, chin stays down, fire. Boom. Jab. 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 Okay. The other little little details, whenever we're striking, we always want to exhale. Right? You think, you know, it's for show when you see the, those boxers and professional athletes when they go, we always want Okay, so that's the jab. Last technique uh, to, to sum up this whole this whole this learning experience. You got your you got your stance down. We got that first jab. We can keep our distance. We can punch grab punch person, break their nose. All right. Next one, we're gonna learn some our power punches. Our cross. All right. It's your dominant hand. In my case, I stand orthodox. It's my right hand. All right. This is our money maker right here. Our cross. So the way we do the cross is I'm gonna demonstrate it first. I'm gonna break it down. All right, with the cross, we want to utilize, just like in all our, all our strikes, we want to use our, utilize our legs. But this one's cocked back here all the way. So it gives us more runway to get the, that, that power going. And on top of that, that's my hip that's, fire, that's backwards, the right side. So now I can twist that hip, get all my, my body into it, using my legs, my core, my upper body, everything. And that's why people like, you know, that's why you, you, uh, kickboxing and boxing, really good workouts. It works your full body and at the same time, you know, you're learning good technique uh, to defend yourself or to compete or, or just, you know, uh, make a unique workout. So with this cross, we have our hands up, like always, back heel off the ground, nice stance, okay? My body's profile, I'm not square, right? Hands are up, elbows down with the cross. The first step I want you to do just to learn this is to twist your back foot. All we're gonna do is my, my foot's point, pointing 45 degrees, I wanna point straight, so here. All I do is twist my back foot, and when you twist your back foot, your shoulder rotates, and that's your power. 
Again, twist, back, twist, back. And when you see my back foot, my back heel's off the ground, I'm twisting, staying on the ball of my foot. Again, good. And all we're gonna do now is as we twist, we're gonna fire off our right hand, straight out, twisting those two big knuckles, straight back. Very simple. So I'm twisting, shooting that hand off there. Twisting, shooting that hand off there. And the same common mistakes are with this cross. One, you wanna make sure that it goes straight out, straight back, gets back faster than it went out. And uh, two, you always wanna keep that back heel on the ground, okay? And hands always stay up. So I'm not doing this kind of thing, or I'm not doing this kind of thing. Hands here, and my jab, cross. Step, twist, step, twist. Get a little step, twist. That's our jab, cross. So those two techniques are the base for all striking techniques. They're extremely important. With these two techniques alone, you can knock out uh, anybody in the world, all right? Doesn't matter who they are. If you land these two techniques, you're hitting those two big knuckles, you hit them on the chin, uh, you'll knock them out. And in the next video, I'm gonna go over you know, more the unique and important spots to hit somebody. Uh, but right now, let's get into uh, little workouts and drills that I'm gonna show you that are gonna help you uh, uh, get better at this technique. Now, a good drill for this, for these techniques, for your stance and your jab cross, uh, to build up that myelin, uh, so you know you, this is this is instinctual and not you have to, so you don't have to think about it, and you just show up and you got your jab cross and your stance, and it's automatically perfect. So that's where just like just like how we're trying to build the myelin for you, for you to uh, eat properly and stay in shape, this is one of the things that we're we're trying to build myelin in, is, is our is our striking. All right, so. The good, a good basic workout that I like, and the, drill, the first drill I want you to do is just five minutes. I want you to put five minutes on the clock. This is your minimum workout, uh, I mean, minimum drilling for this, for, this, uh, for this technique. It's five minutes on the clock, and all you're gonna do is practice on your stance. You're gonna move, and then every 10 seconds, you're gonna throw a jab and a cross, okay? It can be slow, it can be fast. I want you to focus on perfect technique and building proper myelin, uh, so be as, Practice does not make perfect. You can practice a thousand hours a day and you're not gonna have a good jab and not gonna have a good cross. It doesn't necessarily mean you have a good jab and a good cross. What, what makes perfect is perfect practice makes perfect, all right? Because if I'm always practicing like this, a jab cross, I mean, it doesn't matter how long I practice that for, I'm always gonna have that jab cross. So if, if I'm practicing here, jab cross, jab cross, that's gonna lead to perfection, all right? So if you can only go this speed right now, that's better than doing this right now, you understand? So I want perfect practice, and uh, every single time, you know, as you get better at throwing, you know, slower, we pick up the pace. Bah, bah. But we're f focusing on perfect. I'm focusing on my stance. Elbows in, hands up, the chin down. I'm stepping with every punch. I'm twisting. All right, my hands are coming straight back to my face as quick as they came out. So that's what we gotta do. So five minutes on the clock. Every ten seconds, you're gonna throw a jab cross. So it's gonna look like this. You're in, my, in the stance. Now, key detail when we, do, when we practice the stance, my heel never touches the ground. I never cross my feet. If I move forward, I step forward, for, forward foot first, backwards, back foot first, left, right. All right, so hands are up. It's gonna look something like this. I'm in my stance, I'm moving, jab, cross. Moving, never cross my feet, jab, cross. Moving, jab, cross. Moving, jab, cross. Jab, cross. And if you're getting to get a little more comfortable with it, you can stay in one spot, jab, cross, I go backwards. Jab, cross, I go left. Jab, cross, I go right. So it's very simple, you don't, have, you don't have to make it that intricate, but just five minutes on the clock, you're doing jab, cross, you're gonna move, jab, cross. Move, jab, cross. Move, move, jab, cross. Just for 10, every 10 seconds of the five minutes, you're gonna give me a jab, cross. And if you wanna do more, no problem, do more. But five minutes minimum, just to start building that myelin for your stance and for your jab, cross, and perfect practice, key details, back heel off the ground, Feet shoulder width apart. We won't want, never want to cross our legs. Hands up, chin down. Hands always stay up as we're punching. Go straight out, straight back. Now to strengthen this jab cross and to strengthen your stance, I, I like to use uh, workouts to do this and workouts that are function, functional workouts. So uh, they're designed specifically, right now we're focusing on our jab cross and our stance. This workout is designed specifically to strengthen that, that stance, to strengthen that jab cross, make it faster and stronger, and at the same time get you ripped up and, and in shape. Uh, and at the same time, you're building that myelin for that jab, building that myelin for that cross, and for your stance. So there's no better way to work out. <laughs> we're, we're doing so many, we have so many benefits and no negatives. So this is the workout. You're doing 50 and 50, all right? I have a weight, this is a, a two pound weight. You can do whatever you'd like. Again, uh, it's just whatever, whatever your fitness level and comfort level is right now, you can always up the pace. I just grabbed a two. Uh, right now, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna demonstrate the workout, and then you're gonna do it. So squat, stance, back straight, butt down, head up, hands up. Always stay next to my chin, so I'm building that myelin, keep my hands up. 
squat, in my stance, cross. Back in my stance, squat, in my stance, cross. Back in my stance, squat, in my stance, cross. Okay. When I throw my cross, everything's perfect, back heel's off the ground, I'm rotating straight out, straight back, my hand stays up, this hand stays up, and I get back into my squat stance. So all we're doing is building up the, 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 the myelin for to get in a proper stance. So I'm squatting, strengthening my legs, because again, all our power for our strikes and all the power for pretty much everything involving kickboxing, striking, and Muay Thai comes from your legs. So hands up always, building that myelin, squat, all the way down, back straight, butt up, head, butt down, head up, on the way to the heels, I come up, and when I come up, I want to do a little hop into my stance, boom. Get my stance down, okay? Nice shoulders apart, back heel off, staggered stance, feet point 45 degrees, body profile, hands up. Right here, I'm gonna get a power punch, okay? Power cross, Wah. Then a little hop, back in my stance, back in the squat stance, squat. Okay, we're doing it 50 times with the cross, and 50 times with the jab. Jab, same thing, hands up, squat, a little hop in my stance, jab. Squat, jab, squat, jab. This is really gonna build up that shoulder, your deltoids, gonna tone them up. Same time, we're strengthening that cross, getting the speed and the power down for that cross. And we're working our legs, gonna tone up our legs really nice and make us so we're faster and stronger at doing the jab cross, and our stance is gonna be a lot better. So it's a really good workout. I like to do them, uh, you can do it with two pounds, three pounds, four pounds, five pounds, whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, I also like to do it with, in both hands, hold the, hold the uh, the, pat, the weights, even when I'm just doing the cross, um, so, so it strengthens those deltoids a little more, our shoulders, but 50 with our, our cross, 50 with our jab, again, perfect practice leads to perfection, not practice leads to perfect, we have perfect practice for perfect, for, for, for perfection, all right, <laughs> as, a, as, a, as a, a tongue twister, all right, so I'll see you for the next video, really practice this, you got your stance, most important thing, and jab cross, the two most basic, most effective punches you could do. A hey, real quick, one more thing before you go. I want to make sure you know that there is no correlation between how hard you work and how much fat you melt or how much muscle you build. All right? There's enough science, enough data out there that there's absolutely no correlation between hard work and results. All right? There's a difference between movement and achievement. All right? If you want to learn my best tips, what I call the 5% hacks that allow you to get maximum results, maximum fat loss, maximum lean muscle gain, I want you to go to the link that's on the bottom of this page or you can click on the link in the description. All right, you're going to get a complete system for melting fat in an intelligent and streamlined system. I'll see you there.